Hello darlings, Moon here and this is not a trick. I am back with a little treat to get us into the spooky spirit. Now let's get into it. Today I'm painting a chilling character that was inspired by some of my favorite spooky movies, Miss Jacqueline. I actually painted this last year in 2023, but the scariest thing happened. I thought I had lost all my footage of this painting, but luckily I found it. And while I did record it in a vertical format and I had to get a little creative to hide the formatting issue today, I hope you guys still enjoy it. So, but let's get back into sketching Miss Jacqueline. I wanted this painting to feel like an old sepia tone portrait from the late 1800s. And to achieve that, I built up layers of wash over my sketch to build more depth and tone on the painting. I started with a mix of a watered down black and brown acrylic mix, applying thin layers and gradually adding more pigment around the edges to form a vignette effect. Once I was happy with the background and it had dried completely, I started to build up the darkest areas on Jacqueline, such as folds, shadows, and the outlines. I used more of the watered down black brown acrylic, working in thin layers again, gradually building up the opacity. Since I'm working in thin layers, it doesn't take long to dry between layers, but it does take many passes until I'm happy with the darkness of the area. So some areas have several layers of paint, while others may only have one to two layers. It's a gradual process, but I really like the effect at the end. If you are enjoying this video, let me know by leaving a pumpkin emoji in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Creating the dress was my favorite part of the painting. I drew a lot of inspiration from the costumes in Crimson Peak with their big poofy sleeves and the striped dress Katrina wore in Timber and Sleepy Hollow. The stripes were crucial to capturing the depth and the flow of the dress. So I studied a lot of striped clothing so I could better understand how it sits and flows on the body. It was a fun, though at times stressful part of the process. And I'm really happy with how the dress turned out.
once the stripes were done, I started going over the darkest areas again to build up their intensity. I'm still using a watered down black and brown acrylic mix, but this time I added more paint pigment to the mix than before. So that way it's just a little bit darker and builds up the intensity a little bit more quickly. Well, darlings, it's time to tell you the tale of our dear Miss Jacqueline. Miss Jacqueline, not quite the pumpkin queen, is half pumpkin, half dead human being. It happened, you see, on All Hallows Eve, when a pumpkin, a magical one, I believe, rolled into a graveyard and smashed upon the grave of one Miss Jacqueline, died 1893. The gourd cracked open, spilling its seeds. They scattered hither and fro, but one went down to the grave below, you see. The magical seed took root with ease. The vines grew quickly, entwining the limb of our dear Jacqueline. Further and further into her skull, until they grew a pumpkin hole. To life she sprung, bursting with ease, through her coffin that fateful Hallow's Eve. Now be careful where you roam on Halloween night, as Miss Jacqueline, the not-quite-pumpkin queen, will play tricks or treats on you for her delight. <laughs> With the body and the dress now complete, it was finally time to paint Jacqueline's pumpkin head. Like the rest of the piece, I used acrylic wash, and this time in a muted orange. I filled in the head, gradually building opacity in the shadows and along the ridges and edge of the pumpkin. I didn't catch it on camera, but I colored her vine ringlets in a muted yellow-green color. And then I went over the darkest areas in the painting in pure black, such as the eyes, mouth, creases, and outlines to really make these features pop. I thought the dress looked a little too flat, so I went back in at the very last minute to add some additional shadows with my watered down black and brown mix. And with that, Jacqueline is ready to haunt the night.
thank you so much, darling, for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting so close to that thousand subscriber goal, I can taste it. Plus, if you like today's video, you're not going to want to miss the next one. 